everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I make lifestyle videos, vlogs, post-grad content, and anti-MLM content so if that interests you definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also please give this video a thumbs up it helps me out so much. Today we are doing a back to school supplies haul. I do these every year on my channel. I will be going into my first year of graduate school. I'll be getting my master's of social work degree. Without any further ado, let's jump right in. I'll start off with more of the practical stuff. But I went to Target and got all my supplies there. So the first thing that I got were sheet protectors. I really like using these for important papers and a lot of the stuff that I feel like I'll be keeping in grad school or with my job and everything like that I want to keep those papers to reference back when I actually start you know working in the field so I just thought sheet protectors would be great for that and for putting in folders or putting syllabus in or sometimes I just need these for random things but I just went ahead and picked up a pack of that then I picked up a notebook and since I'm taking three classes um, next semester I just got a three subject notebook just so I could have everything in one place so I didn't have to bring multiple notebooks around with me since I do have like a smaller work bag slash backpack um, but yes this is five star I have used five star probably since high school use them every year in college these notebooks are just great for college because you do a lot of writing if you do your notes by hand which i personally always do so i definitely recommend these notebooks they last a long time and there's a lot of room to write and i always get college rule just because my handwriting is a little bit smaller and this just works for me so I did get just a white three subject notebook for all of my classes. And then going along I got three five star um, folders and they're also white just so that they all match and coordinate and I love five star folders as well and I got the ones with the prongs inside and then also these flappy things so they secure your um paper and the reason why i got the ones with prongs is because i want to i saw alexa page did a video last year and she put her syllabus in the middle of her folders and i thought that was such a good idea just so that it's always in one place and you can look at it so i definitely recommend these but yeah, I got three of these. Now on to the next bag. So I did get a binder. I normally never use binders just because they're clunky and just big and things like that. But I decided to get one to keep at home so I can organize papers, not just for school, but for work different handouts things like that like i said things i want to refer to or keep organized or if i want to print off powerpoints or make study guides i want to keep them all in one place or essay outlines things like that so i did get just a one inch gray binder and yeah it's a very basic and then to kind of organize it i just got some write-on dividers and i got them with pockets i do have a hole punch but i figured i would get pockets just in case so this comes with eight. They didn't have a four count of these, but um, I'll just I'll just figure out what to do with them. But yeah, I got these as well. Okay, now onto the super fun stuff. So the first thing I got was this pack of post-its. These are the pastel kind, and I really like these a lot because I find the other ones are just super harsh, and you can't always read the pen if you write pen in it so I just got this pack it comes in like a light blue a teal yellow pink and then kind of like a purpley one at the bottom so I got some post-its I also found these at the dollar spot at Target and they were 50 cents actually so they are these little meal planning 
like little sticky notes and I figured this would be so helpful to have in my planner. It has breakfast, lunch, snacks, and dinner for each section so you can just write on your meal plan and I figured that's like so much easier than just writing it out on a different piece of paper or on a big sticky note but I thought these were perfect and so so cute so I just couldn't pass them up. Did I need them? Probably not but I definitely will use them in my planner. They're just so cute. Then I got my favorite pens ever. These are the Pilot G2 pens in black ink. I just got the three pack. I love using these for notes. They just glide on really well and things like that. The, they do smear quite a bit if you don't let them dry all the way but other than that I love these pens and these are the one millimeter as opposed to the 0.7 or 0.5 just because I like it to be a little bit thicker so it can make my writing look better but yes so I got these they're just my favorite pens and I didn't get a ton of pens because I still have a bunch from previous years but yes I did get these this is probably my favorite thing that I got but I got the Pilot Frixion highlighters and I have like the mild liner highlighters but those I mainly use in my planner and I give a lot of them to my sisters so I thought I would get these for highlighting um, on my readings and textbooks because in grad school I heard there's lots of reading you have to do so I thought these would be perfect and I like how they're erasable I definitely want to test that out and see like how they work so if you want to highlight something in a textbook and you need to erase it or something or if you highlight the wrong thing that happens but yes there's really pretty colors blue a teal color yellow pink and purple so i'm really excited for these they just look so cute and they're pastel which i love pastel colors but yeah i picked those up i also got some sharpies these i don't really use these for school i use these to label things gifts shipping out poshmark orders i just need sharpies and i always lose them like i never know where they are in my house so every year i pick up a pack of them especially use them around the holidays and things like that but i just always need sharpies for whatever reason so i picked those up because they were on sale then i got a pencil sharpener because i have like an adult coloring book and i use colored pencils for that and i don't have a sharpener so I got one because it was super cheap so yeah it's just this blue teal color just the cheapest one I could find honestly but yeah I got that I also got some scissors because I swear I lose my scissors all the time and I always need scissors around the house for literally everything or if I do like crafty stuff I don't know during this quarantine and things like that so I just picked up some scissors these were so cheap like 80 cents and they're cute I don't know but yeah i had to get those i always need scissors all the time and then i picked up some tape again always need tape for poshmark orders gifts whatever so i always take advantage of the back to school season to get them because they're a lot cheaper and i got this little zip pouch i thought it was cute it's like canvas and it's gray has a gray zipper and grid i just thought i could keep everything in here and keep it in my bag um, I would put like some, like a little mini hairbrush, my pens, pencils, hand sanitizer, lotion, chapstick, basically anything that I want to bring with me to either work or grad school. I figured I would just have this nice pouch to put it all in. So I got that. This was also pretty inexpensive i think it's like two dollars so for a pencil case that's not bad and i like how simple it is but yeah and i could also use this as makeup bag and things like that super versatile love it last thing i got was i was so excited i was about to get the post-it like flags but i found these which are so cute they have like such pretty designs and I know this is like so extra but I just thought these were cute. I could use them in books, in my planner honestly, or just, I don't know, they're just really cute. They they were $5 which is definitely expensive for post-it flags <laughs> but they're so cute so I definitely got sucked in but these are, how many times can I say they're cute? They're really cute. 
all right you guys that concludes my back to school supplies haul i hope you guys enjoyed it again give this video a thumbs up if you did i would really appreciate it and i'll have a back to school supply playlist down below so you can see my school supplies from previous years and binge watch them and things like that and thank you all so much for watching and i will catch you all in my next video bye guys Thank you.